What is this flesh eating bacteria called and where does it come from? Okay, well, first of all, it's called Vibrio vulnificus, typically shortened to Vibrio because it's a lot easier to pronounce. And believe it or not, it's actually a, a it's rel it's a prevalent. It happens here in a warm, salty water. So you will see it in the Gulf um, throughout the uh, summer months when the waters get warm. It's unfortunately the same time as hurricanes arrive. So you know that when the water gets to a certain temperature, that's uh, where you're going to see more of it. All right. And so what are some of the symptoms of this bacteria? Well, it can be very dangerous, especially if it gets into a, um, into a cut or a scrape or a puncture. Um, typically what will happen is you'll see it is, uh, it's, it, create, it creates an infection. So you see the typical like redness, swelling, discharge, but then it could become ulcerated and it can become very dangerous after that. So really the most important thing to do is avoid getting hurt while you're dealing with, especially storm, re uh, storm related pickup uh, and handling the brain. Yeah. And can you tell me, touch on that a little bit more, how are people getting this um, bacteria inside them? Yeah, what, what happens typically in a case like this is if we see storm surge um, and you're in an area that you're actually doing storm cleanup, what happens is you can get a cut, you can get a scrape, you can get a laceration, a puncture. And what happens is people think, okay, I don't have to worry about that. But what you should do at that point is stop and wash that area very well with soap and clean water. Okay, that way it's going to get whatever bacteria is on that off of it. Um, and then monitor that injury very, very clear, uh, carefully. Um, if you start to notice those symptoms of infection, the redness, the swelling, the discharge, the uh, uh, you'll see that. Contact your healthcare provider immediately uh, because this can be um, stopped if it gets treated quickly. But if you let it go, it could become very dangerous. All right. And this has been very prevalent in Pinellas County. I saw on the website, the DOH website, that there were, have been 13 cases and one death already this year. Why is this so bad in Pinellas County? Well, what we're doing is we're picking up from the uh, storm surge. Uh, we're picking up the debris and there's an awful lot of debris out there and people are doing that uh, debris pickup. And um, if they're not very careful, if they're not using very heavy gloves and boots um, and they get a cut, they can just ignore it. Oh, it's not that bad, but then it could become something serious later on. So that's why we need people to pay very close attention if they are doing any storm cleanup. All right. And is there anything else we should know about this bacteria? Um, yeah, it's 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 a very common bacteria. It's out there in the water. And typically, you don't hear people getting uh, infected with it. Um, however, in a situation like this, where you have a large amount of debris that can't harm somebody, you can see this kind of infection happen. So again, clean the area up very quickly with uh, soap and water. Make sure it's very thoroughly clean and monitor it closely. If you start to see any signs of infection, that's a time to call call a doctor. All right. And lastly, is there anything else you'd like to add that you feel we didn't cover? We are in a very difficult time here in Pinellas County, along most of the counties along the uh, along the Gulf. Um, and our heart goes out to those who've lost everything. And we are we are here with you. We're here uh, with the Department of Health to provide any assistance we can um, to provide the kind of knowledge. And uh, so hopefully we can get back to uh, where we were. But we know right now things are very difficult. We're here behind you. All right. Well, thank you so much for speaking with me, Thomas. It was my my pleasure. Um, you know, one other thing you might want to communicate is um, that if people do end up getting uh, uh, injured, they if they may want to check their tetanus booster, um, because if somebody does get hurt, it may be tetanus might be another another challenge. So people may want to go ahead and uh, see check when the last time they had their tetanus booster was.